So far we've only looked at timed waves in the global waves section. We only have one wave right now. We're going to add another time wave. It helps to give them descriptive names. You might have better names for yours. So the first wave is five seconds. We're going to have this spawner spawn during one one. This other spawner will spawn during one two. And we'll have the elephants not spawn at all. Let's take a look at that. As you can see, I didn't have to kill the first wave. Start to get overwhelmed when the second wave comes around. If you use elimination waves, then it has nothing to do with time. Everything that gets spawned during the wave has to be destroyed or despawned, and then it will go on to the next wave. So now I've added a third wave, and they're all elimination waves. So first, it will spawn the zombears. When you kill them all, it will spawn the zombunnies. And if you kill all those, it will spawn the elephants. Let's check it out. I'll take well beyond five seconds, which is what I had set up for the timing before we switched it over to elimination. Still nothing spawning from that second spawner. You can see it in the scene view there. Let's finish him off. And here come the rest of them. Second wave. And now, elephants. Now let's look at some other options, such as the repeat wave section on each spawner. This spawner shall repeat its wave how many times? Let's say three. And each time the wave repeats, we're going to tell it to increase the wave size by one. So it'll do a wave of three, and then a wave of four, and then a wave of five. For the second spawner, we're going to use spawn limit controls. And setting a number here means that the things that have spawned from this spawner so far have to be at least this far away before another one will be spawned. It keeps track of them. This can help to make sure you don't spawn a bunch of things too close together. So I just finished off the wave of three. Now it's going to spawn four. It's the first repeat of this wave. And after I finish those off, it's going to spawn a wave of five. After I kill those, it'll go on to the second global wave from the other spawn. This one has spawn limit control, so even though I told it to spawn them all pretty quickly, as you can see above in the scene view, it's making sure they're at least that distance away before it spawns another one. If I were to kill them off really fast as they came out, the next one would spawn faster, because it only counts active spawns. There's another option for elimination waves. This parameter here defaults to 100%, wave completion percent. If you change this to a lesser number, let's say 50%, that means as soon as 50% of the wave has been destroyed or despawned, then it's considered done. It will repeat the wave or move on to the next wave if there's no repeats left. So there's a second wave starting when I still have one guy left. If I kill half of those guys, the third wave is now starting. There's the five guys coming. As soon as I kill half of them, the other wave starts up here. Thank you for joining us. We will have more videos soon.